Welcome to the Halloween edition of The Nest. This Saturday is Halloween and everyone is getting ready to get their scare on. But nothing is scarier than a lifetime of financial ruin and debt. Laundry reports on an AOIT field trip to Mission Federal JA Financial Park where they learn how to make strong, powerful financial decisions. By the time you turn 24, do you think you'll be able to financially support yourself? Nearly 60% of today's teens don't think they can. Mission Fed JA Finance Park is the only institution in San Diego that gives teens the opportunity to learn financial literacy. Students are giving a quick overview of real life expenses before they enter the workforce. JA Finance Park is a brand new program specifically for high school students and it's an awesome location where students can come in and experience what they're going to do as adults. Cardinals were expected to leave their teenage life in the turns and become responsible, well-financed adults as soon as they entered the doors of JA. Hoover students had the chance to participate in various activities that introduced them to adult life. Students get to apply for a mortgage, they need to apply for a car loan, they need to pay for child care, everything that adults have to do, like pay our utilities and pay our bills, students will have to do at Mission Fed JA Finance Park. Before I knew I had to pay bills, but I didn't realize I had to pay as much bills as I need to and that I need to save money for emergencies for the future. I learned how to work my money more and like for the future to not like buy things I don't need when I'm older. By the end of the field trip, who work cards gain the skills that they will use when managing their financial status in the future. We want to thank JA Finance Park for welcoming Hoover High in their installations. And also special thanks to Brad Perry and the KUSI News for sponsoring the visit. Trick or treat, sports are neat, find out which teams won last week. Welcome to Hoover Sports. This week we have volleyball against Claremont and Madison, football against Sarah High School, and an interview with Coach Ravino about the weight room. Last week, the varsity volleyball team lost Wednesday's away conference match against Claremont High School with a score of 0 and 3. This set their record to 12 wins and 5 losses. But on a good note, the team won last Friday's home match against Madison with a score of 3 and 0 leaving us with a record of 13 wins and 5 losses, and a league record of 6 wins and 2 losses. The team is currently second in the City Central League, just under San Diego, who they will be facing this Friday, October 30th, at home. Our Hoover varsity football team lost last Friday's away conference game against Sarah High. In the first quarter, we came out strong, leading 7-3, but in the second quarter, Sarah came back 13-7. In the third quarter came a great fight, the ball going nowhere. Finally, the fourth quarter came around and things got heated. Both Sarah and Hoover made a touchdown with no completed field goal, leaving us with a loss of 20-22. to Make sure you come to Teacher Appreciation Night October 30th against Christian High School where teachers will be walking with players before the game. What is the purpose of having the weight room open after school? Well, having the weight room open, a open after school gives kids a great opportunity to work out, to exercise. Uh, as, as a teacher, I always like to say it keeps you out of trouble, but um, it's a great way to come in and exercise for free. Uh, we're open for an hour every day after school. How do you think the kids benefit from coming here after school? Well, uh, working out is um, a great way to relieve stress. The annual haunted house is here. Alondra sits down with Rogelio Gonzalez on the bloody red couch to get the scary behind the scene details. Hi, I'm Alondra Martinez and I'm your host for the bloody red couch. And our host for today is Rogelio Gonzalez. He's joining us from the drama department to talk about the haunted house. So our first question of the day is, have you participated in the Haunted House in previous years? I actually have. I participated in last year's Haunted House, which actually was my first Haunted House here at Hoover. 
And how is the experience of it all? Um, the whole experience is, it's crazy. You're stressed, you're just like going all over the place, trying to figure things out like during construction and on the actual days. It's crazy, but then at the end of the day, you say, oh, it was a good day. We put on a good show and it's good. And on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most scariest, how terrifying is the whole experience of the haunted house? Personally, I don't know because I haven't gone through it myself. But like being in it and from all the reactions we've gotten, I'd say it's pretty scary. So I guess like in between a six or an eight, somewhere in between there. And what's the most common like reaction? Oh, the common, the most common reaction we get is um, people covering their faces, screaming, putting their friends in front of them. So it's like, no, you can have him. I'm out. So you, you're uh, sacrificing your friends, right? <laughs> there you go. Uh, and it's an acting experience, right? It is, because you have to get into character so you don't mess up, because what you're trying to do is scare them and try to stay as serious as you can. Do you have um, a routine to get into character, or do you know any <coughs> weird routines of other people? Uh, personally, I don't have a routine. I don't know of other people who do routines, but I just say... I just say... Um, Okay, it's about to start, let's do this, and that's it. So uh, my last question is, how has the experience changed over the course of the years? Um, compared to last year's, it's somewhat the same thing. It involves the same process, but overall, stuff has changed because every year we're trying to do something new, so it's not the same old thing and it's not boring and people say, oh, it's the same old thing, you know? But it's, it's good. Okay. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you visit the haunted house. What would you do to survive in a horror movie, Snyder? Um, hide under my blanket and call for my mommy. Really? Wow. That's exactly what I would do, too. Next up, Diane heads out to the claw to ask your survival plans. Hi! My name's Diane, and this week's QQ is, if you were in a horror movie, how would you escape the killer? The first thing is you never turn to look back. You just run. You just run. Because it's when you look back that you trip and fall, and that's always how it ends. Or, uh, I'll survive. And trip and just die. I will escape the killer by just saying naranja. He'll start laughing and be like, yeah, what's up, bro? Then just run away. I'd, I'd kick him where it hurts. I'm trained in martial arts, so I probably would go after the killer. He needs some meal! <laughs> I would suck him in the face five times. <laughs> I wouldn't even run away. I would get like an electric fly swatter. And that would be all my protection. That's all I would need. That's my, that's my way of life right there. And then run like a little girl. First of all, I would be the killer. Hide in one of the cabinets. Protect yourself. Don't even let nobody mess with you, ever. Just get fly, electric fly swatters. I always carry one. Oh, honestly, I would have escaped. I would have died. I, I, you know, I tried to fight through it, but I would have died. I would have died. I would run away. Like, probably hide from it or just, like, I don't know, run away or something. Kill it. <laughs> After the break, Pelon Pelon helps us carve the perfect pumpkin, and the Cardinal Calendar wraps up our show. Entertainment Student Television. Hello, hello. Hello, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to teach you how to cover pumpkin the right way. 
supplies you need are a hammer, a sharpie, and a knife. If all you have is a plastic knife, you're all good. First thing you do is get your sharpie and mark the top of your pumpkin. After you mark the top of your pumpkin, you draw the face. Now that you have your face, the next step is to smash it! We got the mouth done. I'm Victor, and that's how you carve a pumpkin the right way. Happy Halloween, and thank you for your time. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Cardinal Calendar. The registration deadline for the SAT on December 5th is November 5th, and the deadline for the ACT on December 12th is November 6th. Tomorrow, October 29th, there will be a pep rally for Teacher Appreciation Night during lunch in the big gym. Don't forget to invite your favorite teacher. Friday, October 30th, students will have the chance to go to different teachers' classrooms and trick or treat. And most importantly, Saturday, October 31st, is Halloween. Don't forget to stay safe and watch your back. And that's a wrap for this week's Cardinal Calendar. If you made it safe through the trails of Halloween, we'll see you back next week. Happy Halloween. Thanks for clicking into this week's Halloween edition of The Nest. Stay safe this Saturday. Have fun. Remember. Remember. Everything is scarier in the dark.